Hello, my name is Damien Callan, and this is my latest video working with oil and colour. And I'm going to be demonstrating painting a small portrait using the Zorn palette. Zorn was a Swedish portrait painter at the end of the 19th century and you can see him here with his palette with just four colours laid out. So that's cadmium red, yellow ochre and titanium white. So I'm going to begin this in the normal way of tinting the canvas. I've used some ivory black, yellow ochre and titanium white to make a yellowy grey. Um, rub it in so that I'm not working on a white surface and now I'm mixing a warm dark from the black, the ochre and the red. Then I'm making a cool mid-tone shadow colour and then finally I'll make a warm light. So working with these four colours we can not only deal with light and shade tone but we can also deal with temperature so the warm light and the warm dark uh, have more red in them and the cool mid-tone shadow color has a bit more yellow so the great thing about working with just these four colors is dealing with skin there's less chance of getting lost you can go in the direction of darker using the black lighter using the white and then towards the redder warmth or the cooler yellow uh, mixtures accordingly. So using my warm dark which I've diluted with some spirit I've now outlined Ruth's head and face and features. I'm now going to top up my original grey and uh, a bit of white together with the uh, ochre and black and I've blocked in the negative shape of the background. Next before I work with the face I'm going to block in some hair and again I've made a lighter and darker grey so that's both the black ochre and a little bit of red and now looking with my eyes half closed I block in a pattern of shadow across the face and neck. So initially just three tones, three values, which will then be developed uh, as the painting goes on. And this helps with the, the unity. I can uh, unify uh, the modeling of this face with this pattern of light and shade. So again, eyes half closed. The lighter skin tone is not the highlight, but just the lighter side of the face. As I blocked in those areas of light and shade, I've lost a little bit of the drawing. So I go back to my thin brush and I top up uh, the eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, the nostrils and the line of the mouth. Now I'm going to block in some colour for the mouth. And again, looking with eyes half closed, you see the top lip is dark. Dark and a bit less colourful. So there's a bit more black in that mixture. The lower lip is lighter and more colourful, so uh, a bit more red and yellow uh, together with the white for the lower lip. And that's not quite light enough, so I'm going to make a third highlight colour for the lower lip, which is almost becoming a, a red-orange. It has more white, more red and more ochre. So I then proceed to develop these different areas. So this is now a highlight colour. I've started with my warm light. I've added white to it, some more yellow and some more red. So that these colours are all related and hence they maintain their, their harmony. So I'm topping up some of the, the highlights and now I'm going to develop the mid-tone so that some of the areas of the face which are a bit warmer and are probably areas of reflected light on the cheek and the neck 
I'm now um, developing those variations of the shadow color. Then some of the shadows are even darker uh, below the tip of the nose, under the eyebrows, below the lower lip. And so I've made what is a darker and a cooler shadow color. So a bit more black and a bit more ochre. And to balance that, then I want some warmer mid-tone for the ear, the cheek and the tip of the nose. And again, that's developed from the light, warm skin tone. And finally, just a little bit of work on the eyes. I've made a slightly cooler mid-tone for the lower part of the irises and I'm adding a little bit more warm light or highlight to the top of the hair. So you see what began as three main tones, the warm dark, the um, mid-tone and the warm light, I've now developed into variations of color in the face. So this is for a white face, but the same palette can be used for black and brown faces as well.